Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to generate the required WebLogic client jar files used to connect to a WebLogic JMS queue. So the agenda for today is uh, what files are required to connect to WebLogic JMS queue. There are three files. WebLogic.jar file, WL full client.jar wljmsclient.jar The files are available under the WebLogic home server lib directory. All of them are available except the wlfullclient.jar file. It has to be created. I'm going to show you soon the steps to create this file. Uh, after you have all of three, you need to copy those files to Power Center machine under the Info Home Server Bin Java Lib directory. And also you need to make sure that the class path environment variable include all three files mentioned above, include the full path. Okay, so here I am in the WebLogic machine. This is my WebLogic home installation, C via WebLogic server. As I said, the WebLogic client jar files are available under the server lib directory. First one is this dear WebLogic.jar file. It's available here. And the second one is the JMS client. But the third one the full client, it's not available here. The WL full client dot jar file. It's not available. Okay, so uh, now I need to create the uh, WL full client jar file. This is the command line that I'm going to use to create it. Java dash jar WL jar builder dot dot jar. It's going to create the required file. So <coughs> it's going to take some time. So as you can see create new jar file WL full client dot jar. running okay it has finished finished as you can see here it created the uh, wl full client dot jar so now we have the three required files um, what I what we need to do is that we need to copy these three files to power center machine under the info home server being java lib directory so here I just highlighted the three WebLogic jar client files required WebLogic.jar WLFullClient.jar the one that was just created WLJMSClient.jar so you copy these three files to the power center machine under the info home uh, under the info home server being java lib directory so here is the power center machine i have my my home installation is a c informatica 951 as i said i moved the file to server being java lib wf wl full client dot jar file and also the weblogic dot jar file and the last one wl jms client dot jar file i need to copy this and add it to the environment variable class path so if it doesn't exist you need to create it and 
put the the environment variable added here okay after this has been done what you need to do is uh, restart the power center domain so in summary today you have learned what files are required to prepare power center to connect to weblogic jmsq we'd love to hear from you please get in touch by sportvideos at informatica.com or by Twitter, InfoSport. Thank you.